I got some new supplies. So I decided to make a sparkly but simple Easter egg using this homemade stone. There's a link in the description if you wanna learn how to make these yourself. I'm gonna start out by doing a base coat with the Liquitex Gesso. This just helps for getting nice bright colors and it also kind of fills in. These stones can be a little bit porous, so this helps kind of seal that in and it'll give us a nice base coat for some color, which we're gonna start off with this pink polish paint to give a nice base coat for the entire stone. Now let's dig into one of my new goodies, these glitter paint pens from Thule Art. As they say on the back, we are going to shake, air them out, prime them, and then paint with them. So first step is to shake the pen really, really well. Next, we're gonna burp the pen by holding it upright and depressing the pen tip, and you'll see that little explosion of color. And finally, I'm gonna prime the pen by pressing the pen tip on a piece of paper as the color starts to flow down the tip of the pen until we have enough there that you can actually write or draw with it. And now I'm just gonna kinda of doodle on this rock. I'm gonna start out by putting some thick blue lines on the stone, and so I'm making kind of three lines to make an evenly spaced, thicker blue line that I'm gonna put on both ends of our Easter egg and then fill it in. These pens are called glitter paint pens, but I actually think they strike me more as like a really beautiful metallic. I really like how they come out, um, but to me it strikes me as more metallic than glitter. But they have good pigment, they have good coverage, unlike some of the cheaper pens I've bought from Michaels in the past. So I'm just gonna play around with some of the colors I've chosen. Here I'm adding some thinner lines with the orange, and then I'm gonna come back and do the same thing with some purple. Now I'm going to take the green pen and add some zigzagged lines on both ends of the egg and this is really just kind of a doodly project. It's nothing super complicated, I'm just using lines if you think about it. But you can repeat patterns, you can play with different colors, you can add dots. It's just a very relaxing thing for me to do in my opinion, but I also think it's nice to see how something simple and easy can actually come out really stunning as well. One of the instructions that was on the back of the Thule Art paint pen box that I had not thought of, and I don't, I'm gonna have to check and see if it's specific to just their glitter paint pens, but it was to wash the tips off when you're done. And I had one time with the blue where it started getting kind of stuck and it didn't feel like the paint was coming out, so I rinsed it off with some water and it started working beautifully again. So I think I might take that approach with all my paint pens from here on out because it makes sense. You don't want that paint to dry on the nubs. Now we're gonna take the sparkle into high gear. I've been playing around with these holographic illusion paints and I bought three more colors. So I'm gonna take this enchanted blue and I'm just gonna take a dotting tool and add a line of it in the center of each of our thick blue lines. So I'm kind of playing off the color that's already there, but this is gonna add a whole nother dimension of sparkle to the design. Now I'm gonna take some divine purple and I'm going to add dots to some of my purple lines. Finally, I'm gonna take 
take this very pink holographic illusion glitter paint and add some simple dots along the orange zigzags so this will play off the base coat of pink and then I'm also going to add some lines at the very top and bottom of the Easter egg. I'm really happy with the purchase of these paint pens. I like them a lot. The glitter paint obviously I love because I bought more. I highly recommend both products and I would love to see what kind of doodly Easter eggs you come up with this season. So don't hesitate to come find me on Instagram and Facebook. Subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss future uploads. And as always, I appreciate you being here and I will see you next time. Take care.